Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of In Other Words with Danielle and Zara. So this is a podcast where we talk about a wide variety of different subjects, from doing TV episode reviews to correcting harmful Christian teachings. Ooh. What a mouthful. Mm-hmm. So in other words, we talk about all, all the, the things. things. You know what's really bad is that when you said that in my, like my immediate reaction to what a mouthful is, that's what she said. So Ugh. anyway, <laughs> don't listen to me, guys. I will not. Um, anyway, so for today's episode, we are discussing trends that we like. Yes. So we have already discussed trends that we don't like yes. or trends that we don't get. Yes, which you should go and listen to. Yeah. So go listen to that right now yes. and then you can come listen to this one. Yes, so start off with a her. <laughs> yes, exactly. And then something more lighthearted exactly. and happy. Exactly. So... Do we have any updates from how we were yesterday? We recorded the last episode yesterday, so... Um, not really. Not really. But are you fine? I'm fine. I'm all well. I'm, I'm also well. well. It all is well with my soul. Correct. Yes. That's how it should be. Yes. Okay, cool. So... Let's get into trends. So, yeah. some of them aren't necessarily trends, but it's just things that are super, super popular. Yeah. And we are all about them it and we exactly don't we're okay fitting in and yeah we you don't know what sometimes be sometimes following the crowd is fine sometimes it is mm-hmm. sometimes we need sometimes, to be yeah. mainstream and exactly sometimes things are popular for a reason and it always mm-hmm. really irritates me when people dislike something only because it's popular yes i hate it it irritates me so much i agree and also i think we've spoken about this i don't know if it was on the podcast though even in books Guys always end up with a girl who's so different. Yeah, and she's not, not like, like other girls. girls. Oh, my word. <sighs> so Pathetic. irritating. You know what? There's nothing wrong with being like other girls. There's exactly. nothing wrong with it. <laughs> I want to be like other girls. Exactly. I don't want to pay for that song. No, we don't want to pay for anything actually ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first trend. So I just have like some clothes trends yes. in my clothes brain. Clothes trends. Fashion trends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um so the first thing that i like is that nowadays a lot more color is being incorporated yes. into fashion yeah um we went through a stage where it was like almost exclusively neutrals i know and i'm really happy that there's color it's very like it's very happy to look at it's yes. very nice yes. very cute and you can just like mix and match so many colors i agree mm. it is very nice i remember do you remember i had a floral pair of yules yes and everyone was like oh, so colorful word. yes they were the most shocking thing about those heels is how high they are. They are so high. I actually, I don't know if I like the style anymore, mm. but like they were flipping high. And very high shoes. Now I'm like barefoot. <laughs> yeah. All the time. <laughs> like, no, thank you. <laughs> cool. One of my fashion trends um, that I really enjoy is sneakers with everything. Yes, me too. I really, I wear sneakers now in mm. summer, winter, autumn, mm-hmm. spring, with all dresses, the time. with jeans with all the things with all the things yes. i really yeah it, it's very convenient and yes. it also looks it looks nice real nice like if you have i mean they don't even need to be white sneakers but i mean white is just white just goes with everything easier. yeah and that's really nice and it can like make what i like about sneakers or like sometimes i wear a dress that's maybe like it looks a bit formal yes and, and then like you just wear sneakers it and it dresses it down and yeah. it's nice Um, I think for me, the shoes that I like at the moment or like the trends that I like in terms of shoes are just platform anything. I love, I love a good chunky shoe. I really do. Um, (laughs) (laughs) They're just like fun and it just looks like you could kick someone if they were irritating you. Wow. So yeah, like I bought these really chunky sandals from Cotton On, sorry for supporting fast fashion, but I couldn't help it. (laughs) (laughs) Um... And they're really nice and they're really comfy and they look like I could step on someone's face if they were bothering me. Wow. Yeah. So, and I also... I'll in, stay on your good side. So you better. Um, I also really like Doc Martens and I really like that they're like trendy again. I don't think they ever like... They never went out of style, I, but they're way more trendy now. But you love them with dresses and it's not my like favorite thing. No, I like them with anything though. I think Doc Martens go with literally anything. Yes, I have a friend who got Doc Martens because they saw you wearing it and they were like, those look cool. Doc Martens are very cool. So you're like a trend set. you know what's nice about them? So they last for years. Like they're expensive. I mean, yeah. if you, I wouldn't buy here, I don't think, because then you're paying like over 4,000 Rand for a pair of shoes. Crazy. And like if you want to, that's fine. But I mean, I got mine when we went to America to visit my family. Yeah. Um, and then they're like still, still pricey, but a lot cheaper. Yeah. And I know that they are a good investment. They're going to last me. Um, and that's nice. And they like, black boots don't go out of style. Yeah. So yeah, 
That is cool. Just a fun fact, a fun story. Okay. I think you should tell people about your previous pair of cotton on shoes. Oh yeah, it's the most bizarre thing <laughs> I've ever so heard. It's so funny. Um, but I bought the same kind of shoes at the beginning of this year, I think. Yes, it was. And because I really like them and I bought this pair and like there was literally the only size of mine that they had left like they didn't have any more online in stores this was the last pair yeah. and for some like in the shops when I tried them on I walked around they were perfectly fine so comfortable and then when I got home I put them on and the one shoe literally sounded like it was breathing like it every time so I took weird. a step it sounded like it was taking a breath and I was like what is happening here that's the most bizarre thing. but luckily my shoes don't do that I'm actually I like I hear it every now and then when I go downstairs what? which is weird so it's obviously just the thing but it doesn't sound like it when I walk normally so weird. I don't really care weird but yeah yes that's the price you pay for for buying from from fast fashion Unethical. I guess Yes. People. <laughs> well, they, they try, I guess. Good for them. <laughs> okay. Um, then my next trend, fashion related, is so if you have listened to our Trends I Hate episode, yes. you know that I hate Lumo. So mm -hmm. then I obviously love pastels. Yes. So I love like a, like a nice pastel y green yes. or like a lilac yes. or like a very light I yellow. love lilac oh, oh it's so word. pretty but like for your nails and for mm. your phone cover yes. and for the clothes you wear and your stationery yes. I cannot have highlighters that are not pastel no, now I know it hurts my eyes yes. to see the Lumo colors <laughs> but yeah when, when I said that I like that colors are coming into fashion yes. I don't mean Lumo colors no, 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 I don't no, mean no. those I don't like no, those no. they're harsh on my eyes um I've got, you know what I also love is jewel tones so like the emerald greens oh, and the like dark green. reds, ruby reds, I guess. Yes. So pretty. Those are stunning at the I'm moment. Even the blue, green. the really dark blue. But I'm also mm. like, I want to go to a formal event and just wear an emerald green yes, dress. Yes, same. Make it happen. And I also love... Get married or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I also love sage green. I love it. it is that beautiful. is such an in color at the moment. It's beautiful. Mm. But I love it. Um, okay, my next one is high waisted jeans, and that's been a trend forever. I I'm mean, not forever. I feel naked if I'm not wearing high waisted Literally. pants. <laughs> Literally. Um, but yeah, I love high waisted pants, high waisted jeans. I cannot wear low waist anything. <laughs> uh, so yeah, except I suppose costumes, bikinis. Yes, yeah. I don't Although know. I like the look of them, but I don't know. I've never tried on a pair of high waisted bikini bottoms that don't look like I'm a granny. <laughs> you know like it always makes me feel like yeah but like i'm wearing also, a nappy right now yeah you have a nice body thank you Sarah. so you can you can rock anything that's i can what I, say. I can they don't make clothes for me though so i can't that's very rude <laughs> someone make danielle a bikini that fits very nicely be better because she's in between two sizes exactly. and it makes life very problematic very difficult. <laughs> how long have you been looking for a bikini now um like it's, been like, year. it's been like a few months <laughs> He's like a year. <laughs> so sad. It's fine. I mean, my one still fits me. It's just you know, like I swim a lot. Yeah. In the See, summer. for mine, I've had bikinis for years yeah. and years. Remember, there was a bikini that I got that I really liked, and you still cut all the yeah, tags. That was the biggest me. mission of my life. That's I still wear that. That's yeah. still is in perfect condition. No, because I I swim so much, so it does just get stretched out, which is fine. So okay. like they I, lost me about like every two. Every, they they lost me about two years. Yes. There we are. I faff in a pool every three months you do she has not swam in my pool yet i have not and we've been friends for like seven years mm -hmm. oh well okay do you have more i have um, no more fashion I, I, I'm not I, have, very fashionable. I have two more um so the next one is loose pants yes. i comfort is key comfort is key like i i don't hate skinny jeans i just like haven't worn them in a long time because yeah. once i started wearing like looser jeans you were like wow this, I was is, like, this is so world. much nicer <laughs> like mom jeans straight cut jeans mm. life-changing they're so nice and then I also love like, you know, like a good flowy pants. Yes. I love that. Yes. High waisted though, of course. And of then course. <laughs> and then the next one that I love is dainty jewelry. Yes. And like that never never goes out of trend no. either. No. But it's your so mom nice. this is so funny. Your mom wears like a plain gold chain with yeah. pearls. Yeah. And it looks so so pretty yeah. with anything. And so when I graduated, my mom saw your mom and she was like, Wow, that looks so nice. So she bought me a gold chain and full <laughs> I love earrings. That. So That's very Janie cute. Marie, you are mm. a trendsetter. A trendsetter of notes. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. Okay, cool. Any more fashion? Mm, no. Oh, do you know what's really fashionable at the moment? Are those like clay earrings? No, I don't like them. I don't mind them. I don't think I'd wear them for myself because I feel like they're just trendy. Yes. Like it won't actually last me. But mm-hmm. I've seen like really cute ones where people will like make little tiny flowers out of them and then put them on hoops. Okay. And that looks cute. Yeah. But yeah, they look nice on some people. Like some people really suit some them. Some people can literally wear anything, anything. and look nice. Oh, cool. I'm so jealous of people who can wear like chunky jewelry. Not like super chunky, but like like a big ring. Yes. Because sometimes I see rings and I'm like, wow, that's beautiful. But I have a child's fingers. So. <laughs> you have a child's fingers. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. You need to get into wearing rings. Yeah, I probably should. But yes. Make that's a happen. problem for later. Yes, fine. <sighs> Okay, so is that all the fashion? Yeah. Should we move on to entertainment? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think especially now in recent years, um, because The Office was very popular, but now with like streaming and Mm. and social media, Mm. like people who've never watched The Office know The Office memes and like, you know, Yeah, I knew The Office memes before I watched it. Me too. And it is like a phenomenon really. Mm. And I love it. Mm-hmm. I love The Office so much. Same. And I'm listening to Office Ladies podcast. Mm. Another really great podcast. They are so funny. And yes, I love it. Mm. I love it so much. Yeah. It's nice <laughs> that like older shows, well, not that it's like an old show, but like it's finished, but it's nice yes. that it still has a huge following. Yes. And it is. It's like a, like you were saying, it's like a cult following almost. Yes. Like if you like The Office, you like The Office. Mm. And what I think is cool now about streaming services and all that in general is that um, there are like people like the shows that they like. And so like you get avid followers of like friends yes. and How I Met Your Mother and like Parks and Recreation and like people just have their things that they yes. like. And it's cool that you can like almost find a like you can group yourself into something yes, like that i'm definitely in the office group yes <laughs> me too well yes. i like i like all of them how i met your mother's probably you my do. least out of all of those yes <laughs> sorry i enjoyed it but i, I wouldn't rewatch it no it. it's like a for me it was a watch a watch once but i know people who are obsessed with it yes. and good for them yes truly good for you exactly as olivia would say yes um okay my next trend is most okay not most there are like some TikTok trends that are hilarious and like you won't get them if you're not on TikTok. Um, like it's very... Like, I only know TikTok trends if you sent them yes. to me. But also like I won't send some trends to you because you literally wouldn't get it because yeah. like you're not on TikTok. I'm not and I like cool that enough. there's like... You're cool enough. Thank you. I'm not cool enough. I don't make TikToks. <laughs> um, I like that you can kind of have like inside jokes based on tiktok <laughs> and you can <laughs> yeah okay i suppose we have enough inside jokes yes. don't need TikTok but literally like you can be talking to someone that you don't know that well and like you can bring up something like that you've seen on tiktok and, and then like, like they've seen it and it's like, like oh, yeah. a friend literally I'm connected. and like there are so many different sides to tiktok if you didn't know that like i don't see everything that everyone you don't posts watch TikTok I, no i don't, I don't <laughs> see charlie d'amelio on my i don't even know who that is she's like the tiktok queen i think she, she's like a young girl and she's okay. got tons of followers but she most she mostly does dances like she's i'm sure she's nice but i don't like <laughs> see her on my for you page yes. at all because i'm not interested in that content yes. so it's cool when you see someone who like has some of the things on their for, for you, you page, page to you like larissa and i she's my cousin we live together for for another week <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then um we have the like the same for you page i have a friend named chrissy and you guys would have very similar for yeah. you pages. Every, everything you've told me that like that she has i have yes. as well so it's very funny okay and then my next one is true crime shows mm. it's like a thing people are fascinated in mm. serial killers which is bizarre yes but i love them i love you love serial killers oof I love it. <laughs> you heard it your first, ladies and gents. Uh, <laughs> no, I really enjoy like true crime, like shows, like especially like murder and like figuring out why people do things that they do. Mm. And like it gets me riled up and angry, but mm. I still watch it. Mm-hmm. Like, especially it's when it very involves a child, I'm like, I will kill you. I will kill you. But <laughs> I still carry on watching them. <laughs> so I'm really into those. Oh, yeah. And they are very interesting. I like. I like a murder mystery in a book. I don't necessarily watch I see, true crime Yeah, I've always like enjoyed that. murder mystery books, yeah. yeah. I've never really watched true crime. But 
they have true crime podcasts. I've never gotten into those. I've never tried. Okay, I've tried once. Well, like wow. five minutes. So so excellent. I feel like I need to I need to see the the reenactments. Yes, and you can tell us if you listen to any of those. Yeah. But if you, you have, have any to listen to all of our episodes first before you even listen to exactly podcast. So just so you know. <laughs> um, okay, my next trend. This is not necessarily a trend, but it's she's more trendy now. Is Taylor Swift. T Swift. And this okay. She has never not been popular. Like since she has. Since she was 18. Yeah, like since she and has started making music, 51. she's had a very like dedicated follower base. Big but she's also time. been like a serious victim of like misogyny and just mm-hmm. general hatred on female celebrities. Because mm-hmm. it's like, oh, she only sings about her breakups and her ex-boyfriends. That's what Basil Sparks said to me this week. Basil calling Sparks. you out, Basil Sparks. <laughs> like, like, name and surname. I love Basil. <laughs> um, but now I feel like especially since her release of folkmore folkmore folklore that is um a mix of folklore and no, evermore since, since folkmore since folklore and evermore <laughs> that is the best thing i've ever heard um, anyway since her release of folklore and evermore i feel like people have taken her like a little bit more seriously yeah and like there was also that whole drama with her and kanye west which is like ridiculous like, why would anyone choose Kanye West side over Taylor Swift? I don't understand. You can like his music, but, like, truly, this man is weird. No offense, Kanye. <laughs> um, or yay, sorry. Yay! Um, <laughs> legally, yay! Or, or was it e? Yee? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So, now... And I'm, I'm really happy that she's re-releasing her old music. Aww. Because now I can listen without my internal misogyny. Because I was seriously yes. that girl. I was like, I'm I was listening to Taylor too. Swift. And a lot of her, like... Like, Shake It Off is, like, one of my least favorite songs. Yes. And but, like, she's allowed to have those songs. Yes, like, a lot of her, like, mainstream pop I've just I never enjoyed. Yeah. But, like, now listening, her stuff from The Vault. Yeah. And, like, the more indie, yeah. like, stuff is so There's good. some really her nice Her lyrics songs. are, like, yeah. damn. Like, even if you don't like the style of music, if you just read some of the things she's written, it's insane. So I'm just, I'm just really glad that she is not as hated on anymore. I... I'm with she you did, on she that. didn't deserve that. I'm with you on Truly. that. Truly. Okay, anyway. Cute. Next one. <laughs> All right. Then memes. I love memes. Mm-hmm. I love memes so much. Same. I can spend hours looking at memes. And what's crazy to me is I'm like, who makes these? I don't know. Who has like, the time? There are so many memes. Yeah. And they happen quickly, hey? Like something can happen in like the world and then there are a billion memes. Uncle Cyril makes a speech and not even an hour later there are a billion memes. There is a meme. People must have jobs like that. Their job is to make a meme. I don't know, but whomever you are. Thank you. I appreciate you more than you even understand. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And gifts. I like gifts too. Me too. Like to reply to WhatsApp messages. Yes. I use gifts mainly ironically. Like I... Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm not like... I'm sending a, like happy yeah. birthday gifts or like no smiley face gifts no. i just send ben platt gifts really. you really do that's all i do <laughs> um okay i think the next trend that i really enjoy is the marvel series that they're putting out and i'm really happy that they've actually like that they're actually doing good series now so, like wandavision and loki and i so solidly thought that that was low key like as in like uh, the opposite of high key that's because you're silly until i figured yeah. you just you just really dumb sorry <laughs> <I'm, sorry. laughs> I'm like yeah when it comes to marvel i'm really you never got into it though i feel like no. you, you i only really love this amazing Spider-Man i genuinely series. think if you had to watch some of them you'd really enjoy them okay mm. everything you've recommended to me i've liked so yeah like i don't we'll enjoy see. i have i have don't love every single marvel movie but there's so many it's nice because it's also like one of those things where like they appeal to most people and it's also got like a good following and you can just talk about it yes i've sat in so many conversations and not yeah like it's, it's just it's known. just it's just fun and there there is something so different and so nice about watching a marvel movie in cinema yes they're like the, I get you. The, when we watched end game avengers end game in cinema I've never had that experience before, and I'll never have it again. That is the that was people walked out of there and it was insane. Emotional, like people emotional? were like literally applauding emotional. in the theater. <laughs> it was so cool. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm glad that they're putting series out on Disney Plus. But I've I've heard of Disney Plus is coming here next it year. It is. Yeah. And I. It's pretty cool. I'm here for it. Hamilton every day of my life. Mm-hmm. 
Um, okay. Rom-com. Yes. We love a good rom-com. I love. And people hate on rom-coms and they're like, they're so predictable. The they're point? so unrealistic. It's the point. We live lives where we don't know what is going to happen. Yes. I like to know what's going to happen. Exactly. <laughs> I love rom-coms. I mean, I will say the older ones will always be my favorite. Like yeah. the proposal, Maid of Honor and stuff. Oh, weird, yeah. But like you do find the odd rom-com, mm. like newer rom-com. And it's like, I love this. I just, I, the cornier they are. The I love them. <laughs> I <know. laughs> so I, know. I like I really don't care how predictable they are. No, I love it. Yeah. As long okay. If the acting is too very bad. If it's bad then I won't enjoy it. No, same. But most of the things like yeah. the acting is fine. I don't do like Hallmark rom com. No, but that's that's a different that's different the genre. Yeah. That's, Hallmark. that's a whole genre. Yes. <laughs> um and my next one and we both have this is just streaming services. Oh. So like life changing. Yeah. Netflix, Prime Video, all of those things. And then also like Apple Music and Spotify mm-hmm. and all those things. Yes. Amazing. It is so convenient because I've always been such a lover of music mm. and I've always bought CDs and mm. like vinyls and stuff, but those are bloody expensive now. <laughs> so expensive. Ugh, I'm like, I want this record, but why? Uh, like why it? must I pay over a thousand rand? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um but it's just so nice because you can listen to what you want mm, when, when you, you want. want. And you don't have to pay like for an album. Yes, because what if I only want to listen to one song on exactly. that album? I will say Adele put out a tweet yes. and Spotify. Yes, I saw. Because they changed, they took away the, the shuffle yeah, button but on the, the, albums. The auto shuffle. You can still shuffle. Yes, yes, But it can. doesn't automatically do which, it. Which, I mean, it should have always been that way. Yeah. But then you can listen to an album in order. The way it's supposed to be. And that can be very nice. Especially yes. some albums solidly tell like a, a story. story. Yeah. Um, and like some songs lead into another. Like I'm <laughs> listening to Hamilton on shuffle. <laughs> But I enjoy that it's now. It's so funny because you you go from like helpless to burn. <laughs> it's like, like wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah. Yes. Do you have any more entertainment? I I feel like all of mine is entertainment. Okay. It really is. It's so That's bad. Fine. Um, I love Harry Styles. Oh my word, same. I love him so much. Mm-hmm. And like he's genuinely such a talented musician so talented like go and listen to his first album's good his second album is out of this world so nice it is just like musically mm. so good so good and there's so many different genres on that album i love <laughs> it yeah and he is like our generation's freddie mercury mm. mark my words indeed he's and very he's, cool yeah, just and his, his, his fashion I'm sense like, i want to be your friend i want to go to a harry styles concert so badly Me like too. people dress up to go to their, oh. to go to his concerts, and I just want to like wear goes a, a very... watermelon. <laughs> no, and I'll go to the sugar. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you, like I just want to go in a nice, colorful suit. Like oh, and then we can flared we pants. Can do the, we can do the treat people with kindness dance. Yes, <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so yeah, our our real question is why is Justin Bieber coming again and Harry isn't? I know, honestly. No offense, JB, you do. You. Yeah, but also like Harry, sort yourself out. And come to South Africa. I agree. Because he listens to this podcast regularly. He so does. Now he he told us. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And the next trend that I like is that celebrities show their like human side more. Yes. Um, because I feel like a lot of celebrities, like especially if they have Twitter or TikTok, some yes. like sometimes on Instagram but not so much. Yeah. Like they just like tell jokes and they're so funny. Yes. Like if you follow Doja Cat on TikTok, she is so funny if you follow I Lizzo like nothing about her me neither I just know she's funny <laughs> um Lizzo is hilarious Taylor Swift is hilarious on TikTok oh. and it's like do you know I what love it. do you know who I love and he's so cringe and he's not a big celebrity mm. but Alan Burstyn from Dancing in the Stars he is so funny he is the most pathetic thing oh my word <laughs> but I love him he is so funny so no it's nice to like you watch, you used to watch a movie and it's a great actor slash actress yeah. and you see them on the red carpet, but that is That's the it. extent of it. So like, it is nice too. Yeah. Like back in the day, they were kind of like these... Idols. Yeah. And these mysteries. Like so unattainable. And I mean, like famous still like unattainable for most yeah. people, but it's cool that you could see like, oh, they are literally just normal yes. people. And it also, I don't know, for me, it, it makes me like celebrities more, but it also makes me realize that they're not gods. So Exactly. They, they are can, not gods. No. Um... Yeah, I was going to say something else. Oh, do you know what's so funny? Is Me. No. I'm talking about TikTok again. But like different companies will have TikTok. Like Duolingo has a TikTok. 
and they literally like have a person dressed in you know duolingo like the yes, the, the owl Yes. the green owl people like this person will literally be dressed in it and they will like be doing the tiktok trends in this owl suit and it's so funny and the empire state building has a tiktok as well no you're joking for real and it's so funny it is hilarious should we get a tiktok we probably should snippets. we genuinely probably should because you can like tell us if you're on tiktok i was gonna say on podcast tell yeah. us if you're on tiktok and if you want us to yes and, and if we, we could get just, like, post snippets if we get one person yes. saying you should start is it a TikTok or you should get on TikTok or how I don't do you, know. what is the link? You can start tick do it. You can do it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. Yes. Okay, then my next one is slow burn couples. Oh my word. Do you want to explain to the people what that is? So it's essentially when a couple in like a series or a movie or a book just takes so long to get together and like they start as friends or like it could even be enemies to lovers, we mm-hmm. don't know. And, like, you can just tell they're meant to be together. Yes. And, like, they'll, like, kind of get there, but Joey then they won't. Joey and Pacey. Oh. <sighs> it's like oh, forever. my word. Forever. Um, and, like, Pam and Jim is, to an extent, also a slow burn. I, it was only the first two seasons, but it, it felt, felt like forever. Like, freaking like forever. You, you knew they were meant to be together. Yes. Like, you know. Well, what was so nice is that when they did get together, they they didn't even have, like, a breakup. They mm-hmm. had issues, like, yeah, everyone. as every couple. But I loved, I loved it. Yes. Them. So yeah, that's essentially what slow burn is. Yes. I, I love, love it. it. I love it. Okay. So now I, don't I have how realistic it is, but I love it. <laughs> I have some more deeper things to yes. say. I have less deeper things. Should I mention that? Quickly? Wait, I have one more like undeep thing. Undeep? <laughs> yeah. Shallow. shallow. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're so shallow, Daniel. Thank you. Um, that is just that people are like interested in learning about skincare. Yeah. And we've, like, I've seen on, like, different social media things, social Pages. medias. Yeah, I guess. Um, is that people, like, kind of break down the ingredients and, like, yeah. what are good ingredients and, like, what really don't work and are just, like, a marketing strategy and all yeah. that. And it's really cool that people are actually trying to, like, get educated about it. Mm. And, I mean, obviously, like, we all fall prey to, like... I, like, when you said we all fall pr- I was like... We all fall pregnant. <laughs> yes. It's like, where are you going with this? We all fall. We all fall prey. That is a yes, saying. Yeah. Yes. We all fall prey to like marketing. We all fall prey. <laughs> all four of us yeah. pray to Jesus. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> to like marketing and like the thing will say, "Wow, we will, this product will clean out all your pores. And you'll never get a single pimple again. Never fall for that. It doesn't work." Dude. Also, um, just like on that note, like I feel like they're far less cringy, like diet stuff. Oh like pulls and stuff they're, they're diet they are, like yeah. programs but remember like pulls and like very more like fit, fit tea it's like you drink this tea and you'll lose weight it's like yeah because it gives you diarrhea <laughs> like it's a laxative <laughs> oh God. like don't fall for that anything yeah. that says detox as well do not fall it does it won't detox you if your body needs help detoxing you should go to a doctor genuinely mm. don't drink a tea it won't detox you i'm doing a december detox but it's just, it's just called that because yes. it's um uh, it sounded cool yes. but i'm just like only drinking water yes but the, that i'm makes... eating don't worry but just like no yeah. cool drink no alcohol that yes. kind of stuff but then that, that makes, makes sense. sense but when you're drinking like a tea or something that says detox tea and you think it's gonna like flush out the toxins in your body <laughs> no it won't no. they go to your liver and you go, they go to your kidneys and that sorts it out if, if those don't work then you have a problem yes. and a tea won't help it i'm no. sorry <laughs> okay I, ugh, it sounds like I just love love because I'm like rom coms and slow burn couples. Yes, but it's the truth. People hate this, and I love this. Mm-hmm. You know when you get married? No. And then through, I've never been married. You know people get married. <laughs> yes. And then throughout the year they'll like post more wedding photos or like every month they're like we've been married for yes. this many months just to like post a picture yeah. and like when it's, it's your very cute, when shame. it's your mom's birthday you'll post a picture yes. from your wedding with your mom your, your bestie's birthday it's like yes yeah i am in my wedding dress and she was the <laughs> bridesmaid <laughs> i love oh, it so, so much funny. because i love weddings so yes. i will look at wedding photos yeah. for days i don't i really don't care like a person's social media is their own and they're allowed to post whatever the heck they want I agree. and if you're bothered then you can't follow them in my opinion i agree and then yeah. you stop any bitterness in your heart. Exactly, exactly. One more. Okay. Entertainment. Okay. I got sucked into this rabbit hole during COVID, like hard lockdown. Oh, I did am, you become an anti-vaxxer? I am obsessed. 
<laughs> with videos of women telling their husbands that they're pregnant. It's so cute. I'm like, I want to cry. It's so cute. I don't even know if I want to be pregnant, but it's I so just, cute. I love watching it. What's also so cute is like telling the grandparents, oh, like, are you going to be a, a grand- grandparent? Guys, so cute. if you ever just need like something to make you feel happy, yeah. then go watch those it. videos on YouTube. Oh, I thought of another trend that I actually wanted to say, but I didn't write it down. And that is the trend of like romanticizing your life. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've like seen it on social media, but don't we all do that? What I, do you mean? Like, to okay, what so essentially, like treating the way I like to think of it is like treating your life as kind of like it's a movie. It's like okay. in the mundane tasks. Yeah, because you know, like it's really difficult to let's say like start studying, yes. or to like exercise, or to like you know any of yes. the mundane tasks. And so, like, an easy way to kind of get yourself to do it, or just to enjoy your life more, is just to like kind of act like. You're the main character in your movie, or kind of thing. Hectic. Like not in, like not in a like not in a psycho way. Yeah, not in a weird way. Yes. But just like to romanticize like the small things, and oh. I like that's be it's become a trend now, and I really like it. Interesting. Yeah. Because you know, find, finding the beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I a double edged sword. I love posting a picture of myself reading a book. But it's literally, it's literally like that that kind of thing. Like no one cares probably, but I. Yeah. Do. It's like making the most out of the little things. Yeah. Like not in like like not in a narcissistic way yeah that's different but yeah y'all know what i mean <laughs> i get it cool um okay do you have any more or is it only me now okay ones, no. so i have like some deeper things uh, that are i only have two deep nice. things because i am undeep shallow <laughs> um you're very shallow zara actually Ugh, whatever. okay it's because i don't swim like you it's exactly <laughs> it. um so the first one is that Ooh, I've got hiccups. <laughs> that is the okay, best I think thing I, ever. Okay, I think it's fine. Um, the so trends when you're reading me. <laughs> it's true. Instant karma. <laughs> um, the focus on human rights and human dignity. Yeah. And obviously that should always be a trend. Mm-hmm. But it's cool that people are focusing a lot more on that now. Yeah. And obviously it's not a new thing either. Like mm-hmm. the push for human rights and dignity has been like a thing for the past mm-hmm few decades actually like not even a long time i think it's because we have access to so much more information and we're a little bit more connected so we actually know what's going on exactly and it's nice that um like we spoke a bit about in the previous episode that it's so difficult to be ethical Mm -hmm. but it's also nice now that we like the trend is to the trend is to be as ethical as you can obviously it's not a trend for everyone some people don't care and like whatever you do you live your life whatever but it's nice that like we have that choice Yes. And like to see where things come from, yeah, to support certain causes that we like. Mm. And I mean cool. that that is like a mm. it can be a bad thing as well. Like yes. You can go listen to our episode on selectivism, but it's yeah. really, really, it's mm. really. Awesome. It can also be a good thing. So yes. yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, then this some shops, and it's like it's so mean, but it's so wonderful. Mm-hmm. Is they don't give plastic bags anymore. It's great. So people are like forced to buy good like non-plastic bags i will say like i'll often like get plastic bags and we basically use them as bins mm. in my home yeah um but then like the best part is i'll go into woolies and i'll walk out with a spa packet literally um, do you and you know what the I'm, best like, is all about it. going to spa and walking out with the woolies, woolies packet. packet like mm, yeah i shop with woolies <laughs> i just want to call bridget out there oh yeah just because she's listening she will listen and she's a woolworths child and it's very stressful it's okay i'm i like bull was yes. the best. I just think you the became less of a nice. Will, Willie's child no, when I you can't... had to pay for things yourself living. Yeah. Although there are certain things at Bull that are cheaper. Yeah. Or like it doesn't make a difference. Like yes. I will always buy my fruit from Willie's. I don't know if that makes me like more buy my flowers from Willie's. But like they last longer. Fruits for and real. fruits and vegetables from Bull Woods genuinely last longer. Sponsor us. Yeah. <laughs> um but some people would get really annoyed that they are only selling the material bags. I know, I get I it, mum. I think, like... I'm just like, okay, first of all, it doesn't cost that much money. No. And also, like, it's kind of the only way to stop the plastic bags. Yeah, it's like you were saying, and you've said this in multiple episodes, is it kind of needs to start from the top sort yeah. of thing to, like, force people to... Yeah, you have to incentivize people, even, like, in a bad way, yes. not to have plastic. But also, like, shops need to stop covering their food in plastic. Yeah, everything at Woolies like is the, like, Yeah, it literally makes no sense. And that's also why I like to shop at Spa often because... And, like, you can do this at Fruit and Veg as well and other yes, places. you just grab your... You just grab and you don't need to put it in a plastic bag. While yeah. most things at Woolies are just 
packaged, packaged in plastic. Yeah. But anyway, it's a meaner. It is. Um, I like the trend. I'm like, it's not. It doesn't. It's like doesn't happen for everyone, and there's still people who don't do this. But just the trend that we are in now. It's like just let people do what they want. Um, and like this is obviously like in some countries you can't do whatever you want, yeah. and like there are always laws and rules. But I like that there is like kind of more freedom to live the mm -hmm. way that you want to live and like make choices for yourself mm -hmm. whereas before like like even just in terms of religion like it was kind of like oh you kind of have to like be your parents yeah you, know, you just you, you have to live in a certain place yeah, like you have to be christian and like if you're not then you're like an outcast kind of thing because mm -hmm. it's like you, then people aren't actually making their own decision but no. this like applies to anything like people yeah. should have their own decision and politically mm. like you know, you just voted for who your parents are voting for. Yeah. Or, you know. Yeah. So it's yeah. nice that you, you have that freedom and people, I mean, people are still judgy, but it also for like sure. doesn't make, I think, as much of a difference. I could be naive though. Yes, you're also naive. Obviously. Okay. Then my next one is, again, like this can be bad to a certain extent, but I like the fact that like, especially I've been seeing in like TV shows and movies that they are actually showing the harsh realities in a harsh way mm. so like doing shows about domestic violence mm. and like making them accessible and like seeing narcissism play out right before you mm. it's like all these things were kind of swept under the rug you know yeah. what i mean like, like you didn't talk about it no and just the fact that again we don't want to push social causes into a show just to for the sake of doing yeah, it yeah like it must actually fit yes i hate but when it's it just the fit. fact that like like i will always say i was so affected by um when they see us I'm all, because like the actual watching everything play out and watching the these extended mm. scenes with the police speaking to the boys like it was insane. i needed to see that to yeah. wake me up mm. and so just the fact that people are becoming a little bit more um work <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna i think we need to do an episode on that because that is a whole other thing yeah. um yeah if you woke are you someone said something to me with the word woke and it sounded really funny and i can't remember what it was are you awoke was that it i don't know woken i, I don't know yeah, i don't know <laughs> um okay the next trend that i like is kind of this focus on like research mm -hmm. um but this could also but be a bad thing i feel like that's like only half the population no it for sure Not is but it's population. definitely like a trend now where people do want to get informed yes. about things yeah but okay when pe okay if you're just a normal average person living their normal everyday lives and you want to like find out stuff for yourself it's not actually research yeah. like what i mean like i don't want to gatekeep or whatever but like googling things and watching videos that people send you or that you find randomly on youtube is not research mm -hmm. you're not doing your own research the people who did the research are the people yeah. who like wrote the articles mm -hmm. for you you're just like reading things yeah it's like it really really irritates me when people are like you're just like do your own research and what they mean is like go read this internet article mm -hmm. that i i found. will say though like i think maybe i'm guilty of that because yeah, like, yeah, yeah. all the research we do off our podcasts mm -hmm. i don't read no like, all these scholarly journals no <laughs> But um, it's like I'm not I'm not claiming to have like done all the, the research, research, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So yeah. It comes with like a there's like a there's like two sides to it. Because no, like on one you. side like you should inform yourself and on the on the other side like recognize that that's not actually your own work. Yeah. Kind of vibes. But yeah. So anything you learn from this podcast, you better cite us. You better. <laughs> comes from our own brains. Our own brains. We've yeah. actually never done research, we've always just been given divine revelation we have mm -hmm. that's a fact so <laughs> that is the fact <laughs> the truth <laughs> lol okay do you have another one i have is nothing it more okay more. the next trend that i like is um gentle parenting Ooh, i love that mm. i love that um because back in the day it was pretty much like you know what's it spare the rod and you whatever spoil the child like that was the yes, thing yes, like yes, yes. oh to like have a, a well-behaved child you need to be spank them and you need to be like, strict yeah and like i think i i've seen something that's going around it's just this, this idea like if your if your child is too young to reason with like mm -hmm. why would you hit them like if a child can't understand why would you hit them yeah. and if they are old enough to reason with still why would you hit them mm. and like i don't want to judge anyone's parenting style like i've never been a parent so i don't know what yeah. it's like but it's also like it's a, a 
child that you're dealing yeah. with if you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i like that people are kind of recognizing that children are humans they have yeah. brains they can understand more than we give them credit for, for sure. and like if you teach them to like deal with things like with words and like expressing their emotions and like how they're feeling and why they did what they did yeah. and like not necessarily saying that you like spoil the yeah, child just let them yeah like they you have they also have to learn consequences but it doesn't need to be like in a horrible hectic, way yeah. if you know what i mean um and even like in a school environment like the mm. teachers i loved most were the teachers that treated us teenagers as human beings. exactly it wasn't like a don't talk in my class don't drink water exactly shut up it was like let's have a conversation yeah let's actually enjoy learning mm-hmm. like those are my favorite teachers the same so yes gentle teaching exactly (laughs) um and then the next one is the focus on mental health Mm -hmm. we have we do have like a mental health series so we don't need to go too much into that but it's really cool that i recommend you listen to yeah it's it's great that we are focusing on like mental health yeah and all that kind of stuff because that's important and more people are on medication and not everyone needs to be on medication but it's helpful it is helpful it's nice that less people are feeling guilty about that yes that's very good (laughs) and then the next one is the focus on like going green and like we've kind of spoken about this with the shops and all that but then you also have the the double-edged sword so to say Mm -hmm. of like greenwashing where companies are like here we are this product is made with 50 percent recycled material and it's like okay but like, yeah it's plastic yeah <laughs> no for sure uh, so that's that's really annoying or like where they pretend that it is more environmentally friendly than it is yes and yeah i think that goes with we spoke about it in trends we don't like it's just the whole like natural and it's like we do want to move to like a minimalistic like society yes but not like yeah to, not to aid consumerism no. and capitalism exactly exactly <laughs> Oh, yeah. so that's funny. And then my last one is the trend, like, of kind of questioning your beliefs mm-hmm. and, like, keeping yourself accountable as well. Yeah. Um, and I think, like, just with, like, in terms of religion, I think it's cool that a lot of people, and, like, I've only really seen this in a Christian context because yeah. I am a Christian. Yes. But, you know, people recognizing harmful teachings in the church, for example, mm-hmm. or, like, calling... Which we're going to do an episode on. Exactly. So like, calling people out for saying, like, you can justify anything with the Bible, yes. literally anything. For real. And people do that, obviously, mm-hmm. because they want to further their own agendas. And it's cool that people are like, actually, like, especially people who are actually educated about yeah. theology and the Bible and being like, um, that's actually not what the Bible says. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so it's cool that that's becoming more yeah. trendy and it's not just and a thing of you don't question it. Yeah, and it's just like, I, I would find it really hard to have a genuine relationship with the Lord if yeah. I was told to just close my eyes and just believe everything exactly it's very scary and you can't build your faith that way yeah and then i mean that's what i'm so passionate about that's why i'm so passionate about youth ministry Mm. is like teens have questions Mm. and i want to create a space where people can ask questions Mm. and not feel like they'll be judged yeah yeah so i think that's really really important Mm mm-hmm so yeah. yeah keep on keep on doing that y'all keep on asking the questions ask the questions all the questions exactly to us and we'll answer them because yes. we have the divine revelation <laughs> sometimes i just feel a little put something on my heart and i'm like wow everything clicks yeah and other times i'm like i don't I'm, even want to talk I know about nothing. this subject i literally know nothing <laughs> <laughs> yeah cool i think like, that's all we have to say yes um the other thing that's so trendy mm-hmm. is if you listen to this podcast and then you follow us on Instagram. That's at, really trendy. In and other I, words, underscore podcast. You should follow the crowd and do that. Yes, you should. <laughs> the, the whole crowd of 50 people. <laughs> okay, we love yeah. you guys. Yes, thank you for listening. Bye.